Now the first step is to lock the FPS to 60 in NVIDIA control panel. So go to desktop, make a right click on the desktop and then click on show more option and then click on NVIDIA control panel. And once NVIDIA control panel is open, uh, you have to go to the manage 3D settings. So go to manage 3D settings, go to global settings. Over here, find maximum frame rate. And you can set this to 60. So if this is off, uh, you can turn it on and then you can type in 60 over here and then click on OK. And then at the bottom right, you will see apply option, hit apply and then check. If that does not work, go to program settings and then click on add. Go to the game installation folder. So wherever the game is installed, select the game exe file, click on open and then select high performance NVIDIA processor over here and then find maximum frame rate. You can set this to 60 over here, turn it on and then you can set it to 60. We're going to OK and then hit apply at the bottom right. And then you can, once it is applied, you can launch the game and then check. Now you can launch the game still not working the next step is to set global illumination to static now so for this you can go to the game and then go to settings go to settings over here and then go to graphics uh, scroll down now over here you can see global illumination now if this is set to dynamic in that case you can set it to static over here so set it to static and then you can check if that does not work, the next step is to try borderless or full screen, borderless full screen or window mode. So in the settings, you can try borderless or you can even switch to window mode. And then turn off VSync. Dynamic resolution, you can turn this off. Scroll down, upscaling, you can set it to XESS balanced. Now the global graphics quality, you can set it to, do not set it to high, uh, like ultra, you can set it to high or you can even go for medium. And then keep this static over here. And then mess quality, you can set it to low. Ambient, set it to low. Depth of field off, motion blur off and then apply the settings click on yes and now you can check now still not working turn off or turn on hardware acceleration now for this type in you can open windows settings or you can type in graphics settings over here and then click on graphics settings and click on hardware graphics settings if hardware accelerated gpu scheduling if this is on you can turn it off relaunch the game and then check if it is already on turn it on and then relaunch the game and then check still not working the next step is to lower down monitor refresh rate to 120 or 60 hertz suppose your monitor refresh rate is like 240 hertz you can lower it down to 120 or 60 hertz and then check next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics driver so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website if you have amd card go to AMD, amd website i'm showing for nvidia select your graphic card select your operating system click on find and whichever is the latest graphic card driver uh, you can download that file uh, download the driver and then once the download is complete uh, click on download once the download is complete run this exe file and when you go for installation, select custom option and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation. After the clean installation, restart your computer and then check. Next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card. For this, type in graphic settings in Windows search box and then click on graphic settings over here. And then click on add desktop app. Go to the game installation folder, select the game exe file, click on add. Once the game is added, click on the game and then select high performance over here. You will see your graphic card now launch the game and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to fix the uh, CPU temperature issue with the game. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.